Well, we are here today at the most magical Goodwill in all the land. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. <laughs> it's been months, months, like six months since we were here last, but really hoping today we're gonna find some good stuff that we can buy and flip for a profit, especially since I drove two hours. <laughs> So let's head in. Here we go. The first thing I spotted when I walked in were these Sargadelos pieces. And I was actually really excited about them, but when they pulled them out, they had $30 a piece on them, and that was a bit too much. This bank here on the shelf was really exciting, but you can see there the beak was unfortunately chipped. These little figurines, though, uh, were great. I wasn't sure if that one was a coma sure I'm mispronouncing that I always do uh, but I thought you know what those are pretty great little owls so I stuck those in my cart my first two items and then I was looking over this copper piece um, it was two quarts something but you can see there it's very dented up I thought it would make a nice vase but it was $6.99 here we have some turkey candle sticks they are $9.99 for the set um, or 15 for the set. I don't know. There's two stickers there on the bottom. There's lots of stuff on the shelves today, and so I'm having a hard time processing it all, but uh, we get there. <laughs> There's two monkey bookends. This in the back, this wooden duck, was $2.99, and I did glance it over to see if there were any signatures on it, but I didn't see anything. I probably could have picked it up, but I didn't see it as a high dollar item. Got a little figure in here. Unfortunately, her arm is missing. I noticed there was a lot of damaged items today. This was $2.99. I picked it up to look it over. It was chalkware, so it was very heavy, and it was just a single bookend. It's a bag. Ashton has been asking me for a paracord bracelet, so that's why I was looking through that bag. I noticed there were a few of them in there. $1.99. I liked the aesthetic of the vase, the contrast between the blue and the yellow, but um, it was more contemporary. And then we had these geese for $9.99 a piece. I believe they're just outdoor decoration or at least someone used them for that. But they both had lots of chips and damage on them. So for $9.99, I felt like that was a little high. It's a vintage tablecloth. I considered it for my own table, but then eventually put it back. And here. Here is a John Perry sculpture. I was very surprised to find this on the shelf. Um, my friend Yvonne actually collects these John Perry sculptures and I saw this and I thought of her. Um, this is a dolphin obviously. It has some discoloration to it. I don't know if that can be cleaned off if it's just dust but I stuck it in my cart. It did not have a tag um, and this Goodwill is notorious for not giving prices on things that don't have tags, but they did give me a price at the checkout, and I believe I paid $4.99 for it. This was beautiful. Unfortunately, there was a lot of damage, a lot of petals missing and leaves. Here we have a art pottery piece. I believe it is an angel and it is a candlestick. You can see it was marked on the bottom. Little gnome or elf there. <laughs> kind of looks like a Keebler elf. This was cast iron on the bottom. It said China. Got a candle. I'm always picking up and looking at candles. I don't really need them. I can't even use them at my house because my birds this candle <laughs> was magnificent um, it's definitely vintage I saw a candle similar to this only it was like a castle at Bedford Street Antiques recently and they had it I think for $65 so this piqued my interest there was a unicorn or a carousel horse I guess it's not a unicorn they ended up selling me that for I believe $6.99 because there was no price on it 
little baby robin there. And here, this little figurine reminded me of Yadra, but when I turned it over, you could see there on the bottom it was not. And those candlestick pieces, I liked those, but um, I decided to pass on them. Didn't even pick them up. <laughs> This looked to be Fiesta Ware. I turned it over. It was Fiesta Ware. They wanted $1.99 for it. Unfortunately, it's missing its lid. And I can I kind of went back and forth on it. You guys know I don't know much about Fiesta, but you can see the chip on the spout. There was a kitty figurine for $2.99. It was marked on the bottom. I didn't bother to peel the sticker to see what the marking was. Art pottery. 2019 very heavy here we've got a mug kind of reminded me of pioneer woman I'm not sure if that what that's what it was but I stuck it on the shelf a little bit better it was a vase you can see there was a design on it I was trying to determine if this was hand painted or transfer um, the mark on the bottom I didn't find very impressive I know I didn't do a good job showing you it but um, I was not impressed with the mark on the bottom now here we are in Easter and also Halloween there is another teapot there and I wanted to check that out that was $4.99 sometimes these arrangements have nice planters underneath them and it's always good to look was a hobbyist witch and a pumpkin candle there it was damaged this piece was incredibly heavy I liked the look of it I love the speckled uh, glaze on it I turned it over and you can see there is a marking there on the bottom but because of the weight of it and how big it is I just really didn't want to burden my shipping team with that so I stuck it back on the shelf this little metal, Andrew is always looking at these little metals, and it was only $1.99, so I grabbed this um, for him to maybe put in one of the booths. I don't think it's very high profit, but it'll make a few dollars in the booth, and we don't have to pay fees. I found the mushroom. I think that this is a spoon rest. It was $0.99, cents, uh, retro, cool piece, and it made its way into my cart. These are little cottage ware pieces. Um, the English ones tend to do better than the Japanese ones, but I couldn't really determine. I, I believe they are Japanese. And here we have a Lucite napkin holder. I liked this one because it had dolphins on it and their eyes were just like big and black. And I was like, okay, let's give it a shot. I don't usually buy and sell those. This is a nutcracker it was twelve dollars it was musical I don't maybe it's not a nutcracker let's see the face show the face Jocelyn you guys don't get to see the face but um it was it worked it played music but for twelve dollars you can see all the stickers there on the bottom <laughs> there are lots of warnings this little snowman I think was a condiment set because he had salt and pepper on his head now I started heading towards the bin and I got distracted by this little tray here. I thought, oh, that looks kind of vintage. It was 99 cents. It was probably a four to six dollar item. So these, on the other hand, are for macrame. And uh, Dagny has picked these up before. And they were new in the package, so I just stuck them there in my cart. They sell for 15 to 20 dollars a piece, last I checked. Now, I finally made it to the bin and a bunch of people had gone through this bin before me and I wasn't expecting much. That's why I put it off. But <laughs> look at these, these Cleveland cats, I think is how it's pronounced. Um, those are fantastic and they're worth about 30 to $50 a piece. So I started rooting through um, here to see what else I could find and I found this. <laughs> it's a little oven mitt. There was something sticky in there and it was suddenly all over my fingers. Um, but this oven mitt was great. We got another cat out of there. These were all plastic, um, those cups. So it looks like I'm, you know, throwing them around, but they were plastic. I didn't see much else in there. 
I did notice these candlesticks and I liked the, the gold drip on them. <laughs> this little guy was kind of cute too. Now this, this was really exciting. I got really excited when I saw this because this is a Florence Originals, um, sorry, Florence Ceramics. And uh, these pieces can sell for upwards of $100. Clearly, this one had some damage to it there on the top and on some of the lace. But I figure for $2.99, I could still make somewhat of a profit on that because um, collectors will sometimes fill pieces in their collection. So I wasn't going to leave that behind and let it get even more damaged than it already was. This reminded me of Fitz and Floyd. I turned it over. I didn't see any markings on it. I'm still not certain whether it was Fitz and Floyd, but... Um, there probably wasn't a real high return on that. Now I always check the metals uh, to see if there's any silver. Um, Andrew's usually the best at finding the silver, but I didn't see any this time. I have found silver here before, but today wasn't the day. And here we are checking the end cap. Not really seeing a whole lot. This end cap over here. There's some art pottery, but I noticed this. <laughs> now this piece right here, I believe is likely made in China. Um, I've bought and sold this in the past. I think it has a value of like 20 to 30 bucks. It's a really cool owl. Got a little kitten here. Uh, I believe it's, you put a little wick in there and it scents, it's like a potpourri thing. This stoneware jug was $4.99. You can see there's some damage on the bottom, some old chips. This is a great primitive piece to stick in our booth. Um, for $4.99, you know, we could put 15, 20 bucks on that and still make a profit, not have to pay fees and um, make a little bit of money. Those were wooden candlesticks, candlestick holders. Check that. <laughs> it was sticky as well. And suddenly my fingers are all real gross. This one was kind of neat. Um, it's a car alarm and it's got this whole complicated setup. Um, <laughs> it was definitely curious and I wanted to share it with all of you. This on the end, um, I forget what these quote unquote clowns are called but I believe they're French. This was a hobbyist piece, which I was kind of surprised to discover when I turned it over. Um, it's very well painted. I love the eyelashes. I don't know if it was intended to be a frame um, or if it's just a wall hanging piece, but either way, um, I've sold those pieces similar in the past and they've performed well, so. Checked the black section a little bit more. There was a box full of toys and I was looking to see if there were any vintage pieces in there. I didn't see much. And there wasn't a whole lot in the way of lamps. That one in the back caught my eye because of the contrast of the red and the gold. This little dish, I liked the design in the glass. It was kind of optic. Our cart's filling up, so we're doing all right. <laughs> this looked like an old uh, suitcase, but it was just made to look like an old suitcase. It was actually a wall hanging shelf. And this frame had some pressed flowers in it. These, I believe, are Accolay, I think is what those are carved from. Um, they were $2.99 each. These are okay. They don't have a real high resale value. And so I left those. This creamer was nice, the contrast of the blue and the gold. I was digging through the plates. You can tell I'm desperate for something when I start digging through the plates. <laughs> Just gotta find something. And then I noticed this pie plate um, and I expected it to be false graph. There was no markings there on the back. They only wanted $2.99 for it. Um, I would have bought it maybe a few weeks ago if we could get it out before Thanksgiving and everybody's making pies. But the more I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? My shipping department is probably not going to really like that. <laughs> so I left that one for someone else. There's a black velvet painting on the bottom shelf. It's not the best black velvet painting that I have ever seen. 
And so I stuck it back down there. I mean, it's not Elvis. It's not, it's just there. <laughs> I don't usually look at cookware, but I turned this over because it was heavy. It seemed to be good quality. Uh, when I turned it over, I wasn't impressed by the marking on the bottom. Thought maybe that plate could have been Talavera, but it was not. And here we've got another teapot that is unfortunately missing its lid. And you can see there on the bottom, it does have some cracking. I noticed this plate here, I believe it is stone and had stone inlay. I thought it was really neat. I didn't know if that was the Taj Mahal or another important building, but I wasn't sure what the mark would be on that. Then I found this, it was Quarry Critters, Home Sweet Home. It was absolutely adorable. Um, I, I was gonna look up comps, but then I noticed that the penguin on top was missing his little pom-pom on his hat. These little Santos all lined up, looked like a set of some sort. They were made of resin, and I'm not a huge fan of resin, but I will make exceptions from time to time. Now this little nativity piece, I believe went in a box that was missing little baby Jesus. So I brought it back and put it in the box. These appeared to be napkin rings shaped like little gingerbread men. Um, I really liked them, but I turned them over. They were made in China. I don't hate stuff made in China. I just don't like the modern uh, made in China because I do prefer vintage. Here I am placing the little <laughs> Jesus in with his friends. I looked through this box of sunglasses to see if there was anything interesting in there, any designer sunglasses. Um, I didn't see a whole lot. A lot of it was just new stock. Um, that, that It was probably a buyout or something. And then this. I didn't know if this was Ukrainian. I really liked the painting on it, but it appears that it was originally packaged with some other pieces that perhaps had gone missing. And then we have these vintage trays here. You can see they did have broken glass. So um, this bag of ornaments looks like it had fallen and everything was shattered. So I stuck this up on the top so nobody cut themselves very carefully. <laughs> uh, but these trays were great and I think they would be perfect for visiting people during the holidays. I could bring cookies on them um, or maybe possibly resell them. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with them yet. And then we have the dinosaur planter. It was $2.99. The more I looked at it, the more I thought, you know what, this is probably something that was sold at Target. This is for watering plants, and I have bought and sold these in the past. For $0.99, cents, I probably could have made a bit of money on that, but unfortunately, you could see there was a chip. I may have considered it a little bit more had it not had the chip. And then I dug through this bin, which was mostly kids' stuff. This poor little owl salt shaker was all by his lonesome. He did not have a friend. And then I noticed this lamp. I had bought and sold a actual vintage one not too long ago and it did pretty well, but that was contemporary. This box intrigued me. It said magic tricks with a smiley face. So I had to take a closer look just to see what kind of magic tricks were in the box or if there was magic tricks at all. And when I opened it, it was a box full of magic tricks. I, I actually gave Ashton a very similar thing for Christmas a few years ago. Now I'm looking through the silverware, another thing I don't often do, except when I'm it's slim pickings, uh, and I'm looking for anything that looks remotely like silver or has an interesting shape design to it. I didn't see anything, obviously. Our last Disney frame did really well. So I was looking at this and noticed that there was damage to it, unfortunately. Checked the bottom of these to see if there were weighted silver candlesticks. And then this, this cutlery did pique my interest because it was such an interesting shape. So I took a moment to actually look this up and unfortunately, there's not a high resale value for it, but I thought it was a really interesting design and shape. Of course, at the checkout, I had to grab these for Ashton. They are his favorite. <laughs> 
Our total spend here at the Goodwill today was $64 even. Um, I really liked those Sargadello pieces there at the beginning of the video. Um, I had found two birds in the hoarder house that were made by the same company. Um, so I got really excited, but uh, when I pulled them out, they were $30 a piece. So <laughs> I think the little, the bird creamer sells for about 20. Um, so it was a little bit higher than eBay, a little higher than what I could get for it. So I walked away from those, but they were super cool. I guess they've been there a while. <laughs> uh, anyway, we are going to get out of here now. Um, the candle ended up costing us, I think, $6.99, and the John Perry piece was $4.99, which isn't bad at all. But we're going to get out of here. I'm going to head on down the road. I've got another Goodwill to visit today, my third stop, and on the way home. <laughs> so I'll see you there in a few days, maybe tomorrow. I don't know yet. Um, I'll see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.